Emir Kushtorika is a Serbian filmmaker, actor and musician. He has been recognized for several internationally acclaimed feature films, as well as his projects in town building. He has twice won the Palme d'Or at Cannes, as well as being named commander of the French Ordre des Arts et des Lettres. Since the mid-2000s, Kushtorika's primary residence has been in Drivengrad, a town built for his film Life is a Miracle, in the Mokragora region of Serbia. He had portions of the historic village reconstructed for the film. He is a member of the Academy of Sciences and Arts of the Republika Srpska since 9 November 2011. Early Life Kush Torika was born in Sarajevo, the son of Murat Kush Torika, a journalist employed at the Sarajevo's Secretariat of Information, and Senka Newman Kadik, a court secretary. Emir grew up as the only child of a secular Serb Muslim family in Sarajevo, the capital of PR Bosnia and Herzegovina, a constituent republic within FPR Yugoslavia. A lively youth, young Emir was by his own admission a borderline delinquent while growing up in the Sarajevo neighborhood of Gorica. Through his father's friendship with the well-known director Haj Rudin, S.I.B.A. Kravavak, 17-year-old Emir got a small part in Kravavak's 1972 Walter Defense Sarajevo, a partisan film funded by the Yugoslav state cinematic career. In 1978, Kush Torika graduated from the film school at the Academy of Performing Arts in Prague, which is why he is sometimes considered a part of the Prague Film School, an informal group of Yugoslav film directors which have studied at FAMU and have shared similar influences and aesthetics. After graduating from FAMU, Kush Torika began directing made-for-TV short films in Yugoslavia. He made his feature film debut in 1981 with Do You Remember Dolly Bell, a coming-of-age drama that won the prestigious Silver Lion for Best First Work at that year's Venice Film Festival. The same year, at the age of 27, he became lecturer at the newly established Academy of Performing Arts in Sarajevo, a job that he performed until 1988. He was also art director of Open Stage Obala. Kush Torika's second feature film, When Father Was Away on Business, earned a Palme d'Or at Cannes and five Yugoslav Movie Awards, as well as a nomination for an American Academy Award for Best Foreign Film. Kush Torika wrote the screenplays for both Do You Remember Dolly Bell and When Father Was Away on Business. In 1989, Kush Torika earned more accolades for Time of the Gypsies, a film about Romani culture and the exploitation of their youth. In 1989 he was a member of the jury at the 16th Moscow International Film Festival. 1990s Kush Torika continued to make highly regarded films into the next decade, including his American debut, the absurdist comedy Arizona Dream. He won the Palme d'Or for his black comedy epic, Underground, based upon a scenario of Dusan Kovacevic, a noted Serbian playwright. He also taught film directing at Columbia University's graduate film division. In 1998, he won the Venice Film Festival's Silver Lion for Best Direction for Black Cat, White Cat, a farcical comedy set in a gypsy settlement on the banks of the Danube. The music for the film was composed by the Belgrade bass band No Smoking Orchestra. He was appointed president of the jury of the 2005 Cannes Film Festival. His film, Maradona, a documentary on Argentine soccer star Diego Maradona, was released in Italy in May 2007. It premiered in France during the Cannes Film Festival in 2008. His film Promise Me This premiered at the 2007 Cannes Film Festival. In June 2007, Kush Torika directed the music video to Manu Cheo's single, Rainin' in Paradise, from the latter's forthcoming album. On 8 September 2007, Kush Torika was appointed a UNICEF National Ambassador for Serbia, alongside Anna Ivanovic, Jelena Jankovic and Aleksandr Thordovic.
Since January 2008 he has organized the annual Private Kussendorf Film Festival. Its first installment was held at Drive Engrad, a village built for his film Life is a Miracle, from 14 to 21 January 2008. His next film, Cool Water, is a comedy set against the background of a Middle East conflict. Filming started in November 2010 in Germany. It is the first time Emir Kush Torika directed a film which he did not write. 2010s During the promotion of his autobiography in 2010, Kush Torika was asked why he thinks his cinematic style translates well in the West when so many Eastern European, Yugoslav or Serbian authors never managed to do the same. At the 64th Cannes Film Festival, held 11 to 22 May 2011, Kush Torika presided over the jury of the Uncertain Regard section of the festival's official selection. On 14 May, in Cannes, he was invested with the insignia of Chevalier of the Legion of Honor, the highest decoration in France. In September 2012 Emir Kush Torika accepted the offer to become the head juror of the first St. Petersburg International Film Festival. During the festival Kush Torika also performed for the residents and guests of St. Petersburg with his band, the No Smoking Orchestra, during the last months of 2013. Kush Torika started shooting a documentary film on the life of the Uruguayan president Jose Mujica, whom he considers the last hero of politics. Kush Torika currently acts as the president of the Ski Association of Serbia. Acting after numerous film cameo appearances over the years, Kush Torika's first sizable acting role took place in The Widow of Saint. Pierre, a 2000 movie by director Patrice Leconte, where he played a convict on the French island colony of Saint-Pierre. In 2002, Kush Torica appeared as an electric guitar player, security specialist in The Good Thief, directed by Neil Jordan. In the French movie La Faire Farewell, he played the role of a Russian KGB agent, Colonel Sergei Gregoriev. Musical career, in mid-1986, Kush Torika, already an accomplished film director at the time, started playing bass guitar in Zabran Jenna Puzenj, a Sarajevan punk rock outfit that was the main driving force behind the new primitivism movement. In addition to being on friendly terms with the guys and admiring their work, Kush Torika's inclusion in the group had to do with the difficult situation Zabran Jenna Puzenj found itself in following the political and media. Scandal caused by the verbal offence committed by their frontman Nele Karadzic, the so-called Marshall Affair, that played out throughout late 1984 and early 1985 severely limited the band's access to media causing its second album to sell poorly. Additionally, three of the six members left the group in light of its bleak commercial prospects. Therefore, in 1986 as the band was still reeling from the scandal and devising strategy for the future, the thinking behind Kush Torika's arrival on board was that having the famous and celebrated film director affiliated with Zabran Jenna Puzenj will help it get over the media bands it faced. Kush Torika played bass on three-track on the band's third studio album Postdravis Zemlya Safari and also contributed by composing the music for the track Probus and Idola on the same album. Furthermore, he directed the video for the track Manajik, which was deemed controversial, receiving a television ban due to vague visual allusions to the Agrokomerk affair, yet another political scandal brewing in Bosnia at the time. Still, with hit songs like Baladi O Pisonyi Izugi, Hadzidril Boss, and Dan Republica, the band managed to regain its popularity and commercial success. Though never fully involved in the band's day-to-day -day life, Kush Torika left Zabran Jenna Puzenj in 1988. 
Kush Torika returned to the group following the Black Hat, White Cat film and the band name changed to Emir Kush Torika and the No Smoking Orchestra. In 1999, the No Smoking Orchestra recorded a new album, Unza Unza Time, produced by the Universal Record Company, as well as a music video, directed by Emir Kush Torika. The band has been touring internationally since 1999. The musician and composer Goran Bregovic has composed music for three of Kush Torika's films, Time of the Gypsies, Arizona Dream, which featured Iggy Pop, and Underground, writing, S.M. Artesia Neprovdrina Glasina Kush Torika's autobiography, S.M. Artesia Neprovdrina Glasina, was published in October 2010 in Belgrade by Novosti A.D. The launch took place on 26 October during the Belgrade Book Fair and was attended by Nele Karadzic, Dushan Kovacevic, Foreign Minister Vuk Jeremyk, Vojislav Kostunica, etc. Initially released only in Serbia, Montenegro, and Republika Srpska, the book's first printing of 20,000 copies quickly sold out. The second printing of 32,000 copies was out in November and it too sold within weeks. On 8 December, the third printing in 40,000 copies was out and promoted a day later at Belgrade Stom Sindicata. In February 2011, a fourth printing with further 10,000 copies was out and soon the sale of the 100,000th book was announced. The final number of copies sold by the publisher was 114,000. Translations were published in Italy on 30 March 2011 under the title Dove Sono in Questa Storia. In 2012, the book was published in Bulgaria as a CPAEOPECX, in Greece as Kappa Iota Epsilon Gamma Omega Pi Omicron Epsilon Epsilon Iota Mu Alpha Iota Sigma Alpha Epsilon Tau Eta Tau Eta Nu Iota Sigma Tau Omicron Rho Iota Alpha. In Romania as under Sun U Into Arta Povesti Asta, and in Hungary as Hodja Jovaki Acute NAK Acute PBE. Stojada Kush Torika's second book, a fictional novel, Stojada, got released in Serbia on 24 April 2013 by Novosti AD in the initial printing of 35,000 copies. On 6 June, the second printing came out in the circulation of 25,000. The book's translated form was released in France in January 2015 by J.C. Lattes as Et Tranger Dans le Maillage. Other endeavors. Drive Engrad Drive Engrad is a traditional village that Kush Torika built for his film Life is a Miracle. It is located in the Zalatibor district near the city of Uzis, 200 km southwest of Serbia's capital, Belgrade. It is located near Mokra Gora and Visegrad, best known for Yugoslav Ivo Andrik's Nobel-winning novel, The Bridge on the Drina. Time of the Gypsies punk opera during 2007, Kush Torika and Nele Karadzic prepared a punk opera, Time of the Gypsies. The initial idea came five years earlier in 2002 from Kush Torika's collaborator Mark Di Domenico while the support of the Paris opera director Gerard Mortier got the project rolling, basing the production on his eponymous 1988 film. Kush Torika wrote the libretto by adapting the story of the gypsy youth from the Balkans relocating to Italy in order to obtain money for his ill sister's surgery. The director cast a young Serbian folk singer Stephen Andelkovic and Milika Todorovic in the roles of Pahan and Azra, respectively. While the experienced Karadzic took the role of Ahmed Thida, the music in the original movie had been composed by Goran Bregovic. However, since Kush Torika and he have not been on speaking terms since the late 1990s, those songs couldn't be used. The all-new score was composed by Dejan Sparavalo of the No Smoking Orchestra. The premiere took place in June 2007 at the Opera Bastille in Paris, to positive reviews. Following the vast open stage of Bastille, the show was performed in smaller arenas. In March 2008, the production was staged in Paris's Palais des Congrès.
In fall 2010, the production was staged in Belgrade at Sava Center. On 29 June 2012, the opera was staged in Banja Luka at the City Stadium, for the very first time under the open skies, with 10,000 people in attendance. This was followed with the July staging in Cartagena, Spain, as part of La Mar de Musicas de Cartagena. Future staging of the punk opera is scheduled for August 2013 in Krasnodar, Russia, during Cubana Festival, Kussendorf Film and Music Festival since 2008. Dry Vengrad hosts the annual Kussendorf Film and Music Festival, which showcases films and music from all around the world as well as a competition program for students' short films. The festival is known for not having a red carpet as well as none of the popular Hollywood festival artifacts. The reverence Kush Torika enjoys in the film circles along with his professional and personal contacts ensure the arrival of top guests from the European and world cinema every year. The festival hosted global stars Johnny Depp and Monica Bellucci along with Nikita Mikarkov, Gail Garcia Bernal, Abel Ferrara, Kim Ki Duck. Audrey Torto, etc. Andrik Grad on 28 June 2011 Kush Torika started the construction project of Andrik Grad, located in Visegrad, Republika Srpska, Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is scheduled to be completed by 2014. Andrik Grad is located several kilometers from Kush Torika's first town drive Engrad in Serbia. Andrik Grad will be used as a filming location for his new film, Nardrini Cupria, based on the book The Bridge on the Drina, by Nobel Prize for Literature laureate Ivo Andrik. His last name is used in the town name Andrikgrad, meaning, town of Andrik in Serbian. Personal. Family Kush Torika is married to Maya Mandik. The couple has two children, Stribor and Dunja. He currently lives in Drivengrad, Serbia. The village which he had built for his film life is a miracle. Kush Torika holds dual Serbian and French citizenship, ethnic and religious identity on 3rd Evden in 2005. He was baptized into the Serbian Orthodox Church as Nemanja Kush Torika at the Savino Monastery near Herzegnovi, Montenegro. To his critics who considered this the final betrayal of his Bosniak roots, he replied that, despite the aforementioned conflict of religion, Kush Torika refused to see himself as either a Bosniak or Serb. Instead, he had continued to insist that he was simply a Yugoslav. When his mother was on her deathbed he wanted to find out his ancestry and learnt that the origin of the Kush Torika family stemmed from two Orthodox Christian branches. An ancestor of his helped build the Arslanagik bridge in the 18th century, who hailed from Bilika and the Babich family. See according to the studies of geographer Jevt of Dedija in the Bilika region. The Kush Torika family lived in a Kopor in the village of Plana. They had eight houses next to the Kozjak family, northwest across a field from the AVDIC family. In Grinica, there was a family surnamed Kush Torika which had left Plana 80 years earlier. According to the Avdesai, their progenitor of Dia Krivakapik, an Islamized Montenegrin, reportedly was honored by the Sultan for his military service and on the way home to Herzegovina, in Kush Tendal. He bought a gypsy and brought him to Plana. This gypsy was, according to them, an ancestor of the Kush Torika family. The story, however, as was common, was motivated by traditional disputes of neighboring families regarding status in the village. According to Seva Pujic, an ancestor was Haj Darby Kush Torika who was a cows who lived in Volujak and was said to have been fair. Having repurchased Muslim slaves, protected Orthodox clergy and his subject peasants. The name is derived from Kustchorg, an old Balkan ice word for dull knives, sabers, etc., most often referring to sabers. Political views at the 2007 parliamentary elections.
He gave indirect support to Prime Minister Vojislav Kostunica and his centre-right Democratic Party of Serbia. In 2007, he also supported the Serbian campaign Solidarity, Kosovo is Serbia, a campaign against the unilateral separation of the Serbian province of Kosovo. Regarding Vladimir Putin, he said in 2012, If I was English I would be very much against Putin. If I was American I would even fight with him, but if I was Russian I would vote for him. Kostorika was present at the Kremlin for Putin's third inauguration as president in May 2012. Kostorika received the Order of Saint. Sava, first class, for his selfless care and presentation of the Serbian nation in the world, on 12 May 2012.